Welcome to our video on mastering data manipulation with pandas. Today, we're tackling a question that many data enthusiasts encounter. Our viewer is curious about how to subtract an aggregate value from a pandas series or data frame without looping through each row. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To subtract an aggregate value from a pandas series or data frame, we can utilize pandas built-in vectorized operations. Let's start by importing the pandas library. Next, we will create a data frame with the given values. This will allow us to perform our subtraction operation efficiently. Now, we want to subtract the value of 30 from the data frame. Instead of looping through each row, we can simply use the subtraction operator directly. After performing the subtraction, we need to ensure that any negative values are set to zero. We can achieve this using the clip method. Finally, let's display the resulting data frame to see the outcome of our operations. The final result should match the expected output. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Here's a quick method to subtract an aggregate from a pandas data frame using NumPy. First, we calculate the cumulative sum of the values and subtract 30. Next, we find the index where the cumulative sum becomes positive and adjust the values accordingly. Finally, we clip the values to ensure they don't go below zero, resulting in the updated data frame. Here's a sample run showing the original data frame and the final result after the operation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To subtract an aggregate from a pandas series, you can use a one-liner solution. This involves calculating the cumulative sum and adjusting the values accordingly. The final data frame shows the adjusted values after the subtraction. The output indicates how the values have been modified. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe, I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.